Hey everybody, we're looking at the brand new uh, Dream Copies Dam uh, 2022 update here. This was done uh, recently, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, about a thousand acres was added. Uh, in 2019, it was at 70%. It was at 101% when we went back there now recently. Uh, we also were fortunate enough to get um, 1,566 acres of new Ultra HF. This was all done autonomously using two autonomous boats. So, um, yeah, uh, as you guys know, the autonomous Ultra HF is really neat and uh, we, we, we're getting pretty close to, to perfecting that. So let's, anyway, let's, let, let's get straight into it. Um, let's go to our chart. Um, guys, please remember when you uh, uh, get your charts for the first time, use Navionics. To find the the location of of the dam, um, okay. You obviously first need to know where Drikopi's Dam is. It's up here, just north of the Swaziland border. It actually crosses the border at one stage. There we go, and there you go. So you found more or less the right place. Now, guys, what I suggest you do before you start looking at the detail on this chart, go into each one of these, every single one, elevation, the, every single one, and make sure that you've turned. Uh, under more options and chart options that you've turned the photo overlay onto full. Please make sure of, of that. Go through all of them. Let's see. Okay, that one isn't. Uh, chart options, photo overlay, full. Go back, back. Oh, next one. Um, okay, that also one also hasn't. Chart options, photo overlay, full. There we go. Okay, so please, guys, please remember, go to each and every single one all the way down this list and um, change uh, your photo overlay to full. So you don't get involved and then you've got to do that little procedure. But let's start off with satellite one. <clears throat> There's a couple of things that are different with this. Um, Remember, uh, we used our, our photo overlay to full, but if you want to see the colors, you know, the standard uh, colors, then you're obviously going to just go in about like that, and you change your photo overlay from uh, full to land only, then you get your traditional colors, like, like you know them. However, what I've done is I've added satellite two. This is something new, something that we're playing around with a little bit. Also go from full, go back to land only. It's to add a little bit more contrasty colors uh, when you're targeting the, the shallows. So that you guys might find quite handy and quite nice. Um, yeah, just something different. That's the only difference with satellite one and satellite two is basically a different palette. It just saves you the hassle of having to customize it your, yourself and every time you reset the unit you've now got to go through your whole palette thing and redo your palettes and all, no just all you do is you go back you change it from satellite two to satellite one okay this is probably something we're going to introduce to all our other charts as we go on but it's not going to happen overnight so please just be patient there okay so what else have we got for this area i have added something uh not new not by any means, uh, it's the shaded relief, okay? So then to you see the shaded relief, you've got to go into your categories and you've got to turn the depth area off. There we go, and there's your shaded relief. Now guys, this is a very, very popular thing doing the rounds in the world today. Um, it gives it a nice sort of 3D look and it really is nice. If, if you want to, you can even go and turn those lines off so you just get the actual um, uh, shaded relief itself without the lines, but I prefer it with the lines, to be honest. Okay. But now, before I get into the uh, mosaics to show you the new mosaics, I want to show you, this is something you guys have had before. It's your aerial HD areas. There are several areas around the dam uh, that I used the drone and I went and recorded this area. Now let's say you come into this area and it's a very interesting area. I love this, this area, this, this just appeals to me. If you wanna target some shallow water fishing here and you zoom in, can you see what is happening to our wonderful shaded relief? When it gets close, zoomed in, it gets blurry. So if we take that away, 
Okay, now we've got the satellite in the background. Let's even take some of those contours away so we can really see what is going on there. But unfortunately, guys, for South Africa, um, sometimes our satellite isn't fantastic. And this is where our aerial HD comes in. And there, I mean, you can just, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? But we have another form of shaded relief on the fish tech chart. It is called elevation. Now, elevation is a form of LIDAR. It's taken from the drone imagery, and it creates an extremely high definition um, shaded relief of sorts, if we can call it that. And as you can see, the, the detail between this and your conventional shaded relief is just massive. I mean, you can really target incredible detail here. If you're not sure what something is, like you think, what is this? Is this rocks or what could this be here? You can go over to Aerial HD and you can see, okay, no, it's actually just some bushes there, just some, some trees. So be careful there. Always go back to Aerial HD. Don't just presume that it's a rock or you might think, oh, there's a nice rock in the river channel. No, it's not a rock. It's another bush, okay? Uh, but sometimes there are rocks, but things that you need to watch out for when it comes to this, if you're on elevation, you think, oh, there's some lovely rocks. Those are not rocks. Those will not be there when you go there because those are cattle. So just be careful of that type of thing. Let's see if we can see that. Yes, okay. So anyway, um, guys, there we go. Uh, we've also got a lot of photographs around the dam here. Um, if you take this area here, let's just go back to our chart options, our categories. I'm going to turn the lines off because I want to see just the photographs. There we go. You see these small little numbers here? You can just tap on them like that. 287 image. And those ledges that you saw there, that's an actual photo. of. Because remember, all these photographs that you see on your screen you know, that you access off the charts. These were taken when the dam was at 70% in 2019. So uh, when you look at an area like this, and you go back, you go to the elevation, <clears throat> and you think, okay, wow, how significant are these little ledges here, you know, that we're seeing there? Look, the, the contours aren't even showing it. You know, you can't even see, but they're very subtle changes. And that's where this incredibly high definition uh, uh, elevation data comes in and uh, never be too scared to use that because you might find some interesting things on some of those little ledges there. Um, okay, so let's go back. We're going to go back to our satellite two. There we go. Let's zoom out. Right. Um, the Ultra HF. I have not removed any of the old Ultra HF uh, data when it was at 70%, as you'll see here. No, that's all in there. There you'll just select as it was before, Ultra HF North, Mid, South, and then South Swazi. Whereas with um, 2022, you're going to go, in this case, you're going to go Ultra HF in 2022, and there's the shallow water stuff. Because remember, we doing the, the, I think it was about 12 and a half feet uh, down when it was at uh, 70%. And now obviously it's up by that 12 to 13%. So we've got the shallow stuff here. A lot of weeds. There's obviously a lot of weeds here. But uh, yeah, this is some really good information here. Um, if you see a transition like, like this, sometimes a little, you can see a little uh, uh, strand got stuck in there. You'll change from north to mid. So in this case here, we're looking for Ultra HF mid-2022, and there it is there. And you can zoom in there, and now you've got some really, really nice information here. And it would be quite nice to see how that ties up with the aerial HD. You see that there? Go to the mid-2022. You see how nicely it ties up? Let's go to elevation. That will really be interesting. Jeez, look at that. It's spot on, eh? Absolutely spot on. You see? There we go. Change back to... Your side scan, sure, nice. A little bit of weeds going on in the background there, but uh, as you can see, some really, really nice information here. And you can see um, how, how nicely the autonomous boat drives compared to a human. 
And then, of course, this big shallow area out here, if you go to Satellite 2, which is this the big flats area here, uh, you will see there's a lot of side scan data here. And, guys, you've got to be very careful here. You've got to look for very small, subtle things. And then, of course, it goes all the way into the river section, uh, south, uh, no, south 2022. And you can zoom in. Look at that, guys. Some awesome, awesome stuff. There is so much to see here. Croc Island, all the detail on Croc Island. Oh, man, I mean, when, when we were here in 2022, this was all just, uh, uh, that was out the water, as you can see, you know. And now, uh, this this year, you can clearly see there it is. And, uh, yeah, guys, pay some very close attention to these areas. Plus, it goes all the way up into the river. If you're interested in this bank here, you think, oh, no, the guys never did this. Just go back to your old chart. It will be Ultra HFSS, and there it is there. That's that little section there. And there's all the interesting stuff that you want to find there. Okay. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, that's the Drick Copies Dam 2022. And, um, yeah, uh, remember for the guys that have bought charts in the last 12 months, uh, this uh, subscription is free of charge. It's just the uh, PostNet uh, in both directions that you'll need to pay for is getting your old one back and us sending you a brand new one. If you would like a new card and you don't want to put onto your old card, just let us know and you can just pay for the card. I think it's about 150 Rand. And uh, guys, that is the Dream Copies Dam for 2022. Thanks for watching.